Hi everybody, today we're going to draw a kite together. So first thing you need is a blank piece of paper and a pencil. And let's draw a kite. So first step, this kite is actually pretty easy to draw. Um, draw a line across. You can make it a little bit curved up like that. And then you're going to draw a line down. You're going to make a cross. And it can be curved a little bit too. Okay. Don't make it too big because we're going to make a nice long tail for it with some bows. Okay, so just keep it um, kind of on one side of the paper. Now we're going to come to the very top of the line here and we're going to connect it to this line right there. Just like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So from the top, I'm going to connect it to this part here. Now come to the middle line here and we're going to connect it to the bottom line. Like that. And same thing on the other side, this line to the bottom. Okay, so you should have the top part of your kite right now. Okay, let's add a tail. That's how you hold on to your kite so that it's flying in the sky. So on the very bottom, we'll draw a string that comes down. And we're gonna make our kite a bit prettier by adding some bows. So just on the very bottom here, add one part of the bow kind of like a triangle and one on the other side. So the line goes out um, and then another line goes out like that and then close. So that's one bow. We're going to draw three bows. So we need two more. So just on the bottom here, let's draw another one. Line out, line out and connect it. Do the same thing on the other side. So we have two bows. And I'll do one more right under. Line out, line out, connect. And on the other side, line out, line out, connect. So three bows on our kite. Okay, let's label our kite. We're going to label two different parts of our kite. We're going to label the, the actual kite part, which is the top, and we're going to label the tail, which is on the bottom. So, kite. How do we spell kite? K, 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 k. If you are saying K, you are right. And also if you said C, you're also right because that makes the same sound. But kite starts with a K, so we'll make a big line down. And then line goes in the middle and kick for K. And I line down, let's make a lowercase I. T, big line down, line across, and E. Start in the middle, and around. Kite, balloon it, and tie it to the top part of your kite. I wrote really big on mine. Okay, let's label tail. Tail. T -t 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 -t. That's Timmy Tiger sound, so that's 
T. T ale. There is an A in it. I and tail. Lizzie Lamb. L. Tail. Balloon it and tie it to the tail. Or you can tie it to the bow too. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we have kite and we have tail. Now we're going to do one more thing here and that is we're going to pick a color for a kite. I think I'm going to color my kite red. Let me find a red marker here. So if I'm going to color my kite red, I'm going to label red for kite. So this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to spell red. R R Rosie Raccoon, so R. R -e 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 -e. E. Red. Okay, red. And I'm going to make an arrow and point it to my label for kite. So it's red kite. My arrow is going across my kite because I wrote too big. So maybe on your paper, if you have more room, you can do it um, right next to the word kite. Okay, so now that I labeled red, now I can color my kite red. And I'm using a marker so I can't color as nicely as you can if you were using pencil crayon. So pretend like I am filling up all my white spots. Oops. Okay, so my red kite. Now I'm going to pick a color for my tail. So the tail is the part with the bows. I'm going to color it blue. So I will add the word blue. B, 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 blue. B, B. So that's Baby Barnaby B. I'm going to do a lowercase b. Line down. Swim up. And around B bull L and there is blue and I'm going to make an arrow and point it to the word tail because I want my tail to be blue not the kite so I will color the bow is blue now Remember when you're coloring with pencil crayon or markers to fill out all of the white spots. I have some here. Okay, so my tail is blue. Okay, you don't have to do red and blue like me. You can do it whatever color you want. But remember, whatever color that you choose, you have to write the word for it. Okay, so sound out your letters and do your kid writing. And that's it. There's our guided drawing of a kite. See you next time. Bye.